I'm back to the American Flyer here. I guess this is part three. So what I found out is that there's actually one screw here that holds the engine to the body and that's all it is. And this part here that's homemade that I guess somebody lost at some point. I found the original drawings or you know parts layout and it does show that there is a part like this which actually goes like this to keep the whole thing from going like this. This screw right here should actually be a shoulder screw that I found out from the drawings and this is a shoulder screw here but of course the uh, shaft is too long but basically well I want something more like this but that's the wrong thread so basically the top part of it here isn't threaded so it allows it to go in but only so far and allow this to continue to move so I'll find the right shoulder screw for that so this was not fit in there properly which caused it to go up and down and that is working okay now that I screwed that in correctly uh, and then what I found out here some more disappointing things is these wheels here are actually a little bit uh, warped or they're not flat they kind of wobble and there are bushings here and here that are not properly set so I need to figure out what I need to put in there I'll get this figured out I also figured out that I'm missing a uh, traction tire here or it's split so I think I have traction tires that will fit this right here so I gotta figure out how to take this apart replace the traction tires put that piece in there and align these pieces here honestly I'm disappointed at the person that sold it to me and if I see him again I'm gonna tell me he sold me a piece of junk but I can fix this